Good evening and welcome to my state of mind here on WPRI.com. Dan York's state of mind in full is back in action. And on tonight's program, Bob Flanders, the former Supreme Court Justice, talks about his worries about the extension of executive power coming out of the governor's office and what he thinks are the viable chances for litigation from all sorts of sectors of the economy and from quality of life, including churches and uh, other businesses that find that they are just restricted past what seems reasonable. And reasonable, of course, is in the mind of the beholder. He points out, like I do, that the General Assembly not being in action to be able to facilitate a lot of these kinds of questions is putting a lot of pressure on what could be a collision course between those who litigate against the state simply because they think that the statutory powers for emergency authority for the governor have been, how would you say, well-worn. So that's a good watch tonight on Dan York State of Mind on Meyer ITV at 7.30 and Fox Promise. In the meantime, the, uh, the news of the day, and we discussed this a little bit on the television show as well, the news of the day from the news cycle was the Narragansett Town Council resolution that proposed, more or less, opening up Narragansett despite the governor's restrictions. And Matthew Mannix, the town council president, drafted the resolution. And when he presented it last night in their online Zooming uh, YouTube town council meeting attended by many online, he, after hearing that three of the five councilors were going to vote no, and he heard them on WPRO, two on my show and one on my friend Matt Allen's program, he made a 10-minute speech about how smart his resolution was, how legitimate it was, and then pulled it and moved on, leaving nobody the chance to respond to his arguments, some of which were pretty salient, but most of which ought to have been articulated, not his fault that it wasn't, but the ideas that he have are, or has need to be articulated in front of the General Assembly. The General Assembly should be taking hearings on a lot of the restrictions that the governor is putting forth here now. That they have just completely curled up into a ball over this whole thing is causing this kind of pop-up of controversy. And I don't think Narragansett's going to be the last town that tries to stretch its wings a little bit and say, you know what, we'll determine this for ourselves. Uh, what the council president, Eric Gansett, did last night was just poor leadership, though. You know, he offered a 10-minute soliloquy on why he was brilliant with his resolution and then pulled it saying, I'm not going to waste your time because three councilors had proffered that they'd vote no. Well, they didn't get a chance to explain why they wanted to vote no. He just pulled it. I haven't seen that trick in a long time, but it wasn't good. Speaking of tricks, uh, the president is is at it here. This whole idea that, yeah, that's a ticket. I, I take hydroxychloroquine. Yeah, I've been taking it for two weeks. Is got a lot of people talking. Uh, Joe Scarborough on MSNBC this morning uh, more or less suggests the president was lying, that he wasn't taking that drug. Now, I don't know if the president's taking that drug or not. And I don't know what basis Joe has on, the, on his gut instinct and his uh, bad feeling for the president to say that he's not. Uh, but the way and the manner in which the president offered the information and the very idea that in this day and time we would just have pundits just walk off the plank and say, that's not true, just gives me pause. It's like, what kind of world are we living in here right now where the credibility of the president is so under siege all the time, much to his doing? And what kind of world do we live in when he says he's taking the drug and the House Speaker suggests that she's worried about him taking the drug because of his morbid obesity? To which the president responds and says, well, she's got a mental problem. COVID-19 will be remedied. Political discourse in this country might be a bigger challenge. You have a great night. Make sure you wash your hands. Don't touch your face. You know the routine.